Hey everyone, welcome back. We are here to share our second video of our Sam Turnbull's uh, Fuss Free Vegan Cookbook. So we shared last week two breakfast recipes that we loved. If you didn't see that video, I will link, link it down below. This week we are doing lunch. So we are going to be doing her carrot hot dogs and mushroom sliders. We also made her nacho cheese sauce because in the picture of the hot dog she shows one with nacho cheese sauce. So we wanted to have that as well. Super simple recipes. The nacho cheese sauce is just some cashews and various seasonings, broth, or uh, various seasonings, water, and cornstarch. She calls for tapioca starch. We only had cornstarch, so we used that. Whipped together really quickly. And And then last night we put the mushrooms in a marinade and they just sat overnight. And then we made a marinade for the carrots as well. Simmered the carrots in the marinade for about 10 minutes or so just until they're barely fork tender and then today we are going to grill both the mushrooms and the carrots up. So we're going to get out there on the grill and we'll come back and let you know what we think of the recipes. We did our best to dress them like she did in the pictures. It is really hot outside, so if we're all hot and sweaty, that's why. So, which one do you want to try first? Uh, I'm going to go for a slider. Slider? Okay. Yeah, that one's, I got my eyes all over that one. I know, right? <laughs> oh, man. oh, messy. Wow. Messy like a slider. Hmm. I'm also hungry. Mm hmm Borderline hangry. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of portobello mushroom burgers. Mm -hmm. These are pretty good though, but I think it needs a little heat. Like jalapenos? Yeah, or something. Just something hot into the marinade maybe. Mm. Oh, like a red pepper flake or something? Mm. Delicious though. Mm -hmm. mm. I like portobello mushrooms. It's hit or miss with me, but this one's pretty good. Definitely one of my favorites. Mm. 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 So good. Really oh, it's good. pretty good. I really like it. Mm. I'm listening. I should have seared them a little bit longer. Got them a little more brown. I like them yeah. though. I like them a little, with a little bit of bite, not like. Yeah. Overcooked. I'm going to try one of those. Slide this. You going for the... That's going to go for the uh, 
sauerkraut and jalapeno. I'm gonna go ketchup on it. I'm gonna go for the nacho cheese and pickled onions. So she uses like raw white onions on hers, but we use pickled red onions. Hmm. What do you think? Yeah. I think it's really hard to balance the cooking of the carrot and not get it overcooked mm -hmm. and not have it undercooked. It's like mm -hmm. it has to be just right, and that's really hard to do. Um, especially because they're you know they're tapered, mm -hmm. thin on one side. So. I like it. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh, I've seen some other carrot dog mm. recipes. Maybe we didn't. I don't know if we cooked it enough last night in the marinade. Mm -hmm. so, so yeah, like we didn't want them to be mushy. You know, we wanted them to have mm -hmm. some texture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. But they taste delicious. Yeah, I'm gonna go in for this relish do, ketchup one. They have a hot dog flavor, which is kind of neat. Yeah, I mean, really, it's what you're dressing it with. Yeah. How was that cheese? Good. The cheese was good. I probably would have added mm -hmm. more nutritional yeast, because I really like nutritional yeast flavor, and I would have added like a couple jalapenos into the blender to give it that more nacho cheesy bite. That's delicious. That carrot is smaller, so it's the perfect Perfect, it's better, yeah. Texture. Some of these were this big really, and some were small. This one really tastes like a hot dog. I really like the cheese sauce too. Yeah. So it reminds me of, um, you know cheese you get like in a cup where you spread it? You spin around and spread it? It reminds me of that kind of cheese, I can't remember the name of it. Oh, like the, the ones that come with the crackers and the little stick? Yeah. Yeah. That. Like cheddar cheese. I really like those onions on the dude, by the way. Hmm. Huh. Honey's mustard. No? Mm-hmm. I probably would miss something too. Mm-hmm. Well, we're going to finish picking out on these. Off camera so I can really dig in. <laughs> I'm kind of full. They're really good. Um, really easy, too. Came together really quick. I mean, if you put them in the marinade the night before, that's really quick to make. And then yeah. pretty much the most time consuming part is just letting them marinate. I think it's just a, maybe a 30 minute meal. Yeah. Yeah, once we, I mean, we fought with our barbecue a little bit out there, but they no cooked up really quick. So, anyway, I got some out of my tooth cabbage. I hope you enjoy this video. If you didn't see our breakfast video, go ahead and click the link down below and we will see you next week with dinner. Really excited about that. We're making some cheddar scones and some tofu bolognese spaghetti sauce. So Those scones look good. Yeah. We'll see you next week. Bye.